Who are you? What do they call you? I'm Mario DeLeone, and let's talk about eight important tips that you need to know when you're dealing with a non-firearm weapon with your scene partner in fight choreography within a film. Dealing in the choreography, handling a weapon involves our very first point, which is distance. Maintaining an appropriate distance between yourself and your scene partner, because that's how accidents happen, is when you're not ensuring the safety. It also helps with the authenticity of the weapon. In action sequences, you have to ensure that your weapon's reach is considered. It's considered in choreography to avoid the unintended harm to your scene partner. That brings us over to eye contact, part of communication. Establish and maintain eye contact with your scene partners. You can look at them before you decide to throw your weapon. It brings the realism to the confrontation and it helps convey the intent and engagement. And even if the weapon is a prop, make your movements big. That brings us over to the next point. Be big, grandiose, and you can exaggerate the movement. Why do we care? It's to ensure that they are visible on camera and to convey the intensity of the action. If it's not big, it may not get captured. It's crucial for weapon handling especially, making each move clear and impactful. And that brings us over to action and reaction. Having the right appropriate reactions to the weapon. Your reaction has to be equal to the action. If they are hitting you and it just looks like you're going back a little bit, that is not equal to the force that's given. If you deliver a powerful strike with a weapon, the reaction from your scene partner should be equally convincing. And that takes us over to camera angles. Camera angles is amazing. Be aware of the different camera angles because they affect the portrayal of the weapon and the weapon usage. Certain angles can emphasize the very impact or even bring out the threat of the weapon a little bit more. Adjusting your movement according to match the director's vision. That brings us to open yourself up. If you close yourself and a weapon comes in, you're, you could get hurt. So you might have to open yourself up a little bit. Opening yourself up simply means that you're allowing the strike to come in. You're paying attention to your posture, your positioning. You might be padded up and it might be a contact strike in this case because there's non-contact and contact. And you gotta be open to the demands of the scene, which is gonna help in creating a more dynamic sequence. It becomes believable and it's great for performance. And that brings us over to performance. Emphasize the dramatic and emotional aspects of weapon usage and bring it out in your performance. And this includes how you handle the weapon, your facial expressions with it, and your overall engagement with that scene and with your partner. And that takes us over to props versus real weapons. We have to clearly differentiate between a prop and a real weapon. They often use the prop. They'll give you a prop knife, for example. And sometimes what they'll do is adjust the lighting, making it darker in the scene. And that will mask that the prop is a prop. It'll basically hide the fact that it is a prop and not a real weapon. And this comes down to following safety protocols and communicating. You should know when they have a prop and when they have a real blade. And this is to ensure that everyone is aware of which type of weapon is being used and when. 
Matter of fact, what they'll do is they'll sometimes shout it out, say prop weapon, real weapon. And they bring out a real weapon, like let's say this was a metal tomahawk, they want to get the little glint of light that reflects off of the blade to the camera. And they do that with a real weapon because it's reflective and polished. However, when they adjust the lighting, they may call it cut and they may hand you a prop tomahawk. And that prop tomahawk, the lighting will change, which will make it look real when in actuality it's a prop. And that's all for today. My name's Mario Leone. Have a great day and be safe.